Uh-huh. Huh. <laughs> just, just the game's hemorrhaging achievements right at the end. Well, Doc, uh, Escapist is for... Oh, Doctor of Escapology is for escaping from 16 rooms. Escapist is for escaping from everything on hard difficulty. Which, wouldn't that be the same as collecting all gold files? Uh, no, because you can collect a gold file without escaping the room. <laughs> well, yeah, but you would need to... You would need to do one before you could do the other. So, like, if you escape on hard, it's to be assumed that you collected the gold file. Yeah, you you could you actually only escape. You could you not could only escape in hard if you open the gold. No, you, you could pick it up. You could you could do complete the hard room and not even get the code for the gold file. You just have to beat it on hard. How do you beat it on hard? Well, we did. If you yeah, beat you it on the puzzle twice. No, no, beating it if if you switch to easy mode, easy mode gives you extra hints, but you can't get the gold file. Oh, I thought easy mode was just solving one puzzle. No. Easy mode gives you extra hints. That made it hard. Easy mode I if you switch to easy mode, you get extra hints. So yeah. Okay, did you read this one? Uh, I I read the huh, but okay. um uh, it opened. We should get back to the floor a warehouse then. Hey, wait. Did you guys hear something? What? You didn't hear it? It came from over there. It sounded like something turning on. See, I told you. The screen wasn't on before. You're right. I guess it was set to turn on when we opened the door. It looks like an authentication screen. I think we need to put in an ID and a password. Yeah, but what? That was when I noticed the illustration. The lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the sun. The lion is e eating the... Memento Mori. Remember death. The ninth lion ate the sun. Yeah, that was kind of the vibe of the entire game. What? Lions eating suns. Yeah, it's alchemy. Oh, of course. It is alchemy, indeed. This is the real ninth lion, but if that was the case... Memento Mori. Uh, it's gonna be swimmy, so you might want to look. Remember death. Memento Mori. Remember death. Memento Mori. <laughs> Remember death. Is that uh, is that actually the nine the ninth line in the game? Probably. I mean, I haven't counted, but I would be surprised if it isn't. Like that's the kind of thing this game would do. It's the stuff that was on uh, Akane's ID tag, wasn't it? Uh, seems likely. Um. Let me find the picture. Oh, I only got the password. The password's Jumpy Doll. Do we have the ID card? I don't think we have the ID card. Well, you probably can guess the ID. Yeah, I mean... It's probably <laughs> statistically speaking, it's probably like a combination of like first name, last name. It's eight characters. Name, I'm saying probably last name first because uh, it's Japanese. So. So just put in as much as Kurashiki as fits in there. How do I spell it? K U Kuda R A S H I. Oh no, it's nine letters. Kurashiki. Uh, okay, and then Jumpy Doll? Accepted. 
that's my favorite puzzle. When it's just like, oh, like let's try this. Not sure it was a puzzle. I think it's just passwords. Look. Why is he, why are you gonna sound like Phi? <laughs> Sigma, look. Your Akane. A cane. Her name is Akane Kurashiki. I've been looking for her for a very long time now. Just so now we can hear you breathing. <laughs> you walked harder. Really okay, I was sure if you knew where you were breathing into the mic. Slowly, carefully, no. almost as if he was afraid. Almost as if he was afraid of scaring her away, he reached out. She's, she's a hologram. Why are you laughing? True, truly outrageous. Tenmyoji squeezed his. Am I reading it? Tenmyoji, Tenmyoji squeezed his eyes shut. Tenmyoji squeezed his eyes shut. Akane. He closed his hand around empty air and let it fall to his side. There was a moment of sad silence, and then she began to speak. Oh, Lord. Ahem. I see you finally arrived. I've been waiting for you. Well, I suppose that's slightly inaccurate. What you see now is a holographic message I recorded before you came here. Unfortunately, this means I will not be able to answer your questions. At least not directly. I hope you'll understand. Now, where to begin? You probably have a great many questions. What day is it? Where are we? Who is Zero, and what does he have to do with Akane Kurashiki? But I imagine there is one question that rises above all others. Why were we brought here? The answer to that is simple. Everything that happened here is part of our plan. All of this was required for the success of the AB project. I assume you've heard that name by now at least. In any event, you were all needed in order to execute our plan. The Nonary game was necessary for the same reason. The question now I imagine is, just what is this AB project? The answer to that is also simple. Allow me to explain. We created the AB project for one purpose, to transport the consciousness of two people into the past those two people are you, Sigma, and you, Phi. What do you mean, the past? The moment the words were out of my mouth, I realized no one there could answer the question. Not Phi, not Tenmyoji, and certainly not a pre-recorded hologram. You might be asking yourself, what do you mean, the past? <laughs> like, oh, that's very convenient. Have you figured out what this room is? I assume you saw the Q on the door. It stands for Quantum. That makes this the quantum room. It took me a moment to realize she changed subject without even pausing. There was nothing we could do, of course, but I still felt a twinge of frustration. Take a look at the view of the room. You see that large enclosure? That houses our quantum computer. The systems that control this entire facility run on that machine. That includes a construct the construct you refer at Zero Junior, as well as the Golem. All of them do their thinking in that box. It's not strange though. 
It seems contrary to how we perceive the world. The body, the thing that you see and interact with, is somewhere else. But the mind and all its thoughts are in this box. Perhaps it's, it isn't so strange though. Perhaps humans are the same, with our minds and thoughts exist separate from our bodies. Our core is in our head, of course. We all have individual brains to think individual thoughts and act according to individual wills. That makes communication difficult, though. So we're forced to rely on inefficient mediums of lo like language, photographs, nonverbal cues, etc., to transmit information. Each of us is an individual, and we have no direct object connection to anyone else. But is that really true? In the dimensions we are most familiar with, yes, it is. We look at things from another higher dimension, however. We may be able, we may all be connected after all. Like the branches of a tree or a rhizome. Imagine a horizontal cross section of a root system of a large tree. All you can see are the spots where the roots intersect the plane of your cross-section. In the two dimensions you see, the roots all appear to be individual things with no connections to one another. But this isn't the case. If you expand your view and look at the root system in three dimensions instead of only two, you see the truth. All the roots join together at the trunk. In two dimensions, they appear to be separate. But if you look at the roots from a third, higher dimension, you see? Things that appear to be separate from one another in three dimensions could be connected to one another if you look at them in four dimensions. Doesn't that seem at least doesn't that, at least, doesn't that at least seem like it could be a possibility? I believe this. I believe that is how human consciousness actually works. Well, I'm not the only one, I suppose. Zero and I share that belief. Or for genetic field theory. Tenmyoji mumbled something that sounded like nonsense. I opened my mouth to ask him what it well, meant. Well. But Akane was already talking again. <laughs> now, when I talk about a fourth dimension, I'm referring to the fourth dimension used in the Minkowski space time. Let's start with a single dimension where all that exists is a point. Connect points to one another and you have a line. In one dimension, the only surface you can create is that, a line. But move to two dimensions and you can create more lines and you can create shapes. These are two dimensional surfaces. Move up to three dimensions and you can connect these shapes to one another and form three dimensional objects. Now you have a three-dimensional surface, which encompasses a volume of space. Connect three-dimensional objects to one another, and you formed a fourth-dimensional object, which encompasses a volume of both space and time. I told you time was a fourth dimension. Well, I, I know. You. I know time's a fourth dimension. It is on that fourth dimensional axis that our minds are connected. 
if that's true, then that would prevent anyone from sending their consciousness backwards. Well, if that was true, then what would prevent anyone from sending their consciousness backwards or forwards in time? That theory is the foundation of the A-B project. The A represents after and the B represents before. Probably sounds silly to you. A ridiculous story made up by a mad old woman. But look at what's happened to you. You've seen many different worlds and timelines, haven't you, Sigma? And what about you, Phi? I know you have too. Am I wrong? Tim Miyoji should know what I'm talking about as well. I believe you experienced something very similar nearly half a century ago. You sent your consciousness to the past to save a little girl's life. It was a long time ago, but perhaps you still remember? Yeah, of course I do. How could I forget? A little girl is you, Akane. Suddenly it felt like Fi and I were outsiders, trespassing on something we had no right to see. What? We probably said, oh, that little girl was you, Akane. And then the other two probably feel like outsiders trespassing on something they have no right to see. Tenmyoji's Ten Miyoji's face was taunt with emotion as he looked into <laughs> Akane's eyes. I like Tenmyoji's narrating in third person. It seemed like she was looking back at him. No. Unfortunately, my time is up. The final stage of the project will begin very soon. I need to go prepare. The next time we meet, I can tell you the rest of the story. So come and find me. I'll be waiting. One last thing. The cat in the box. Is it alive? Or is it dead? Sigma, fine. You will decide its fate. Goodbye. Wait! Akane, wait! <laughs> oh, Tenmyoji. I can almost see you. You don't need to worry. Everything's going to be okay. I will see you one day, I promise. But I'm going to have to ask you to wait just a little longer. Wait. Akane! By the way, he asked a while back about why his name's different. It's because his name is Junpei. Junpei Tenmyoji, that's his last name. Tenmyoji's his last name? Yeah. What a dick is. And then she was gone. <laughs> Dark Keyblade said, not Schrodinger's gat. Tenmyoji collapsed his knees, his back hunched and shaking. I saw tears land on the white knuckled fists he pressed against his thighs. I kept quiet. What was there to say? Fine, I looked at one another and nodded silently. But the well, shaking hand... kind of makes sense. Because when you're, you know, Japanese notions of respect and stuff, you usually refer to your elders by their last name. Yeah. With the shaking hand, Tenmyoji pulled a photograph out of his pocket. It was a picture of a girl. Photograph. After all that we'd been through, Every time I see a man in my life. Her smile was enough to break your heart. Her smile was enough to break your heart. This is our way to school. We made our A way. A bunch of kids killed rabbits too. Oh my God. So I went to beat up the kids. <laughs> we but made then the kids beat me up instead. We made our way to the Sorry. warehouse on floor A <laughs> and met up with the others. It took only a few minutes to decide to head to the infirmary. I was trying to recap the last game for everybody. He got all the important bits, I see. Yep. As soon as we arrived, we began to treat Alice and Cork for Radical 6. What about everybody else has Radical 6 too? I... Says who? I gave Luna they the- They told us that we that everybody got infected with Radical 6! They didn't say everybody did. They said that they used Radical 6 in the experiment. 
It was part of the experiment. They didn't say everybody was infected. I swear. I gave Luna the Xelevere. If the game ends with Sigma getting Radical Six and dying, I'm gonna re- I gave Luna the Xelevere that I'd found in the cube room. She quickly prepared to end. Yeah, Keyblade, this is a sequel to the first game. With the uh, Then there's no Funyarinpa in this game. Or in the third. It's only in the first. Yeah, I uh, I had a very upset uh, conversation with ChatJV about the lack of Funyarinpa in this game. I demanded that he create a Funyarinpa. Maybe we'll get a future entry that's only about Funyarinpas and nothing else. Hey, remember me looking out the back door? Injected, injected Alice and Quark. Thank goodness. It'll take some time for them to recover completely. But they should be fine. Good. Indeed. Thank you, Luna. And thanks for finding the medicine, you guys. Thank you so much. Don't swear. Don't sweat it. <laughs> Don't swear it. <laughs> no need to thank us. Tenmiyoji said nothing. Oh, something I quote. Ah! <laughs> Just walked over to Quark's unconscious body. Took the small boy's hand in his own and held it tight. I guess he does kind of look like Ventus Keyblade. <laughs> Could see tears at the corners of his eyes as he turned away from us. I'd say he looks like a younger Ventus, but there's no such thing. <laughs> Too many things. Suddenly I remembered Dio. Where had he gone? <laughs> and it didn't take me long to find Suddenly him. Suddenly I remembered Dio. He was sprawled unconscious on the floor beneath the sink. Handcuffs? Oh, well, we found those in the crew quarters. Before you returned, we went to check on the bomb in room two and we found them we found them there. Of course, the bomb was indeed turned off. Thank you again for dealing with them. You are quite literally lifesavers. You have my eternal gratitude. I coughed awkwardly and looked pointedly around the room. I glanced over to Fi to see what she was doing the same thing. After that, we headed back to the Floor A warehouse to play the AP game. Specifically me, Fi, K, and Luna. Clover and Tenmyoji decided to remain in the infirmary just in case something happened with Alice, Cork, or Dio. Luna would represent Clover's team. With Cork and Dio sleeping, K would represent their team by default. So me, find ten Miyoji. You should vote. No, I'll let you handle it. I chose Betray in the last round. Probably don't trust me right now. What? That doesn't matter now. Excuse me. I apologize for interrupting, but I think you should be the one to vote in the next round, Fi. Why? You already have 9 BP. There's no reason for you to choose Betray now. You see? Hey, you're acting like I might actually try and betray her. Not necessarily. Um... What does it matter what he's suggesting? We're almost there. We just have to play the AB game three more times. Then we can all get nine points. That means each representative has to choose ally all three times. Okay. I'll vote. Sure you're alright with this, Sigma? Yeah. I trust you. And she literally has no reason to hit betray. If nobody else is going against her. Yeah. I hand her the star key. Shall we open the doors?
an ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex gain polling closes. All right, we have to wait for the deadline. Oh, well, we could vote earlier, but that each voter would be stuck inside the AB room for 45 minutes. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to the infirmary, then. I agree. Please, lead the way. Luna and Kay set off toward the yellow door. I was about to follow when... Hold on. I just re remembered something. What? The AB room on the left. The one of the other histories, she... Oh, yeah. You're right. Connie's body was in there. What does this mean? Why didn't we find her body this time? Maybe because she wasn't murdered. But how? When did history change? Do you remember what Akane said? Mm, the cat in the box. Is it alive? Or is it dead? Sigma? Phi? You will just... I did. Oh it's god. <laughs> it got all electronic when he said that too. <laughs> Listen. Choice. The Schrodinger's cat thing. Exactly. I wonder what she meant by us deciding its fate. Perhaps she was saying her own fate wasn't decided yet. Huh? The history where she's alive and the history where she's dead and murdered are both real right now. What? No, that's impossible. We already opened the box. We opened the door to this AB room and there was no body. No, we haven't opened the box. We haven't found a body, but we haven't found her alive yet either. In other words, we haven't actually observed her. The hologram was a recording from before this game started. The next time we meet, I can tell you the rest of the story. So come and find me. I'll be waiting. Where Where was Akane now? Where was she waiting for us? Or, what if she wasn't anywhere now? What if she was waiting for us in another timeline? Or what if she was waiting for us in the past? Was that even possible? If she was, what would that mean? To be continued. New, new destination in the flowchart. Very nice. Right here. At the beginning of the game. Before the beginning. Yeah, before you even split. A B A. Uh, before we woke up, this is where we woke up. Oh, literally before the game. Before even the game even started, A B room passed. I didn't realize I wasn't connected. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Ow. Wow, 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 wow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Here we go again. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us. This is our Look. stream of Virtuous Blast Reward. <laughs> I am Inheritance, and this is my co streamer, Chad JV. Look. Welcome to my stream. Um, I'm a variety streamer, and you'll find all sorts of great stuff. Um, this time around, we're having Shad JV control the game. I want to give him the opportunity to do that. Um, so yeah, this is Virtue's Last Reward. I'm a real fan of it. I've played it multiple times. Uh, so let's get right into it. Keyblade said so everyone has the time stone where they can all see all the possibilities. 
Looks like an elevator, but... No. <clears throat> this is one of those AP rooms! That's what it sounded like, girl! It's my, it's my, it's the bit, remember? That was from the other game, you said you wouldn't do that in this game. <laughs> oh, my bad. <clears throat> no, this is for the AB room. Gah, who the hell are you? What the hell's an AB room? Soy. Damn. Can you just, can you just do it? <laughs> oh, I guess you did lose your memory oh my God. after all. Sorry, I guess you did. I guess you did lose your memory after all. Memory. Memory. Cat, 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 cat. This is like the fourth time, fifth time we've seen that in the tonight. I remember. You're Fi. She grinned. When is this? Check your bracelet. It's a red pair. BP is three. Mine's the same. Does this mean this is the beginning of the game? We've gone back to when we first woke up in the AB room? No, not quite. I think we woke up a little earlier this time. How do you know? Push the buttons on the side of your bracelet. Two hours, 15 minutes. We didn't wake up this long before the primary doors opened last time. I think we were about an hour early. Wait a minute. If you're right. Yeah. Kana might still be alive. We got back before Dio killed her. I think. Then. Right. We're here for one reason. To stop her from getting killed. Exactly. Let's move. Need to get out of here fast. Don't need to tell me twice. Let's go. Seek a way out. <laughs> Bolder than to presume that I remember any of these paths. Any... Oh boy. Okay. Um, let's go to the fire extinguisher. <laughs> we don't need to look there. This is our past, remember? That means we're just repeating history. See what I'm getting at? The password for the save should be the same we got one we got earlier. Exactly, but that would involve me knowing it, unless you could go into the archives and pull it out. Of course you can. Then go to the archives and pull it out. Now? I guess. There. Got it. Okay. You didn't read this line. Uh, did I not? No. I said exactly. Hurry up and open it. You need to remember the password for the safe. We figured it out last time. Once the password has been found, it will never change. Going back to the password and or changing timelines won't alter it. Sun in the top left and the middle left. Top left and middle left. Star on the middle right. Okay, I opened it. No! <laughs> That's the wrong password! We need the other one to get the key. <laughs> Oh, so <laughs> secret saves are temporal space-time beings that the contents magically disappear? I mean, yeah, if you go but... back and redo a room, the, the gold file's not there anymore. Sun's in the bottom right and middle. Wait, what am I doing? Bottom, right, and middle. 
star to the left of that. <laughs> Disgusting. What, did you want another gold file? Yeah, I wanted another gold file. <laughs> we got the achievement already. There, it's open. Good work. Hurry and grab the cracker. Cracker? Ah. Damn, I meant key. How the hell? Just shut up and do it. <laughs> I don't get the joke. Uh, she accidentally called it a cracker. Ha 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 ha! Very funny. Uh, well, let's just put this key in here. For God's sake, just do it already! I don't need to yell. Alright. Good. Looks like that worked. Ready, Fi? What do you think? I know, I know. I don't need to ask every time, right? Then why the hell are you asking? Hurry up and- Right, right. I'm going, I'm going. Ten. Nine. Eight. Ah, uh, one! Done! <laughs> Keith Lee said sadly the cracker wasn't cheese it flavored. Zero out of ten, too much iron. <laughs> hey! You pushed the button. Bite me! You're taking too long! <laughs> We're on a schedule here! Hug. You found it! Someone's literally about to get hot murdered! <laughs> Listen, we don't know how long it'll be till that happens. Maybe we have time. <laughs> Fine and I climbed up through the hatch now onto the top of the AB room. It took us only a moment to spot them. Akane! Behind her was Dio. He was moving quickly and quietly, a knife glinting in his right hand. Shit. There was no time to yell to her. I scrambled down from the top of the AB room. You can yell while you're moving. Fi wasn't following me. When I looked back, she was still standing on the roof. Fi! What the hell are you doing? Get down here and... Before I could finish, she moved. She ran across the roof, launched herself into the air. Drop kick to the back of the head. Rough. <laughs> what the? He's fine. Just unconscious. I bent down and held my fingers in front of his mouth. He was still breathing. I don't think he saw me. Probably has no idea what happened to him. Guy went down like a sack of potatoes. He had it coming. He had it coming. I heard footsteps come to a stop right in front of us. I looked up. So you came. I've been waiting for you. You're here to hear the rest, right? Wait, just wait a minute. What the hell is your deal? How can you be so calm? If we hadn't shown up just now, you'd... you'd... Had been stabbed in the heart by this young man and died, yes. Although that reminds me, I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate you saving me. That... what? Hold on. How do you know about being stabbed by Dio? Are you an expert too? Yes. Indeed I am. I'm able to jump through time, like, just like you. Then what the hell were you thinking? If you knew he was gonna stab you, why were you gonna let him do it? Because I had to. You what? Think back. 
Why are you here? If I hadn't been killed by Dio, no one else would have been murdered. Consequently, your abilities would never have manifested. I did explain, didn't I? The purpose of the AB project was to send the two of you to the past, or your minds at least. In order for that to happen, some death was necessary. When a human brain is faced with danger, its processing speed increases. Information is processed more quickly, and time almost seems to slow. A few seconds can feel like an eternity. Unfortunately, that in and of itself isn't enough to send oneself through time. The amplitude of the consciousness is simply too small. In order to increase the amplitude, we need to slow down the brain before the increase happens. It's a little like a slingshot. You pull back on the rubber band and then let go. The potential energy stored in the band is released and converted into kinetic energy. That's what fires the bullet out of the slingshot. Now, while a slingshot can only fire in one direction, your mind isn't similarly limited. When a bullet of your consciousness is fired from the slingshot of your brain, it travels past the three-dimensional world into the four-dimensional one. I like that. When the bullet of your consciousness is fired from the slingshot of your brain. Because when the bullet of your consciousness is fired from the slingshot of your brain, it travels past the I... three-dimensional world and into the fourth-dimensional one. Well, wow. How do you make that into Fallout Boy? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was my goal. I was thinking it sounded like a title, but now it can't be the title because the title's not the same as the lyrics. Yeah. No, the title is uh, just called uh, I went into an AB game for the love of my life, but she actually died before it even started. Oh, that seems a little too on the nose, but okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I think it's just called um, Armadillo's uh, Summer. Uh, from that perspective, time is no longer fixed. Key, Keyblade, uh, so what you're saying is, Akane, is that we can save Sora from the other side of reality. No! <laughs> In other words, you can travel to the future, the past, whenever you like. Also, uh, someone should definitely clip me singing, and that should be on your intro every time. Uh, your consciousness has been released from the three-dimensional cage. That's also a very Fall Out Boy lyric. I, I was going to think that just sounds like the title then. <laughs> yeah, your consciousness uh, is being released from its three-dimensional cage. Be a fun little pop number. In order for that to happen, I had to inject you with Radical 6. See? So he does have Radical 6. Oh, I didn't say he didn't. I said that they never... The only two people that got cured was Quirk and... Uh, Alice. What? That's hilarious. I'm at Burger King with my Burger Queen. <clears throat> We're infected with Radical 6. Have you seen that? You, you kind of read that in Akane's voice, but... <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> We're infected with Radical 6. Yes. <laughs> Don't you remember, Sigma? Luna should have told you about it in another timeline. Or... Are you sure? Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease. Every single one of you has been infected. Well, apart from Luna, of course. Unfortunately, it was necessary. We need to slow down your minds in order to store up your potential energy. 
then we provide a dire situation that would accelerate your processing speed. The result is what you're now experiencing. Your consciousness now occupies four-dimensional space-time. Even that, however, wasn't enough. You had the ability to travel, but your memories could easily be lost during the trip. The project, if the project was to succeed, you had to be able to retain everything you learned in each reality. That was the reason you were forced to jump so many times. With each jump, your ability to remember improved. Eventually, you would be able to remember, retain everything. That's why we made you play the AB game. That's why you had to select different chromatic doors. By forcing specific choices, we could cause you to make more jumps. I get it. I think I finally understand. Well, okay, there are a lot of things I don't understand, but all of what you just told me makes sense. You did all of this so that Fi and I could jump through four dimensional to space with our memories intact. Right? Yes. But why did you need us to do that? People have died for this. I mean, let's count how many different ways people died. Murder, antimatter explosion, suicide, I've died, so has Fi, so have you. <laughs> well, technically, in this timeline, no one's died. So, I mean, has anyone really died? Mm -hmm. Checkmate. So, so why would you do all this? It doesn't matter that Fi and I jumped through time. Haven't I told you? Death was unavoidable. You were all destined to die. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. I already know all that. What I'm asking you is why? What is so goddamn important that it's worth all this? Ah. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. What? Just when is eventually? In a future not very far from now. Bullshit! That's not good enough. Why can't you tell us now? Instead of answering, Akane knelt down next to Dio and picked up his knife up off the floor. I'm going to keep this with me. Don't change the subject. But it's almost time. What are you talking about? We have plenty of time. No. In a few moments, you'll return to your original timeline. What? This is the way it has to be. Don't fight it. Lagomorph? Yes? Lagomorph? You call him Zero Junior. His official designation is Lagomorph. Lagomorph, this is an order. Unlock my bracelet. Compliance. Now everything said it's. Everything is in place. I've put the bracelet on to Dio. All we have to do is place his body in the fifth AB room, second one from the right. Oops. That's that's the one Quark is in. Correct. I will move him. I will also put your bodies back in the third AB room. Once that's done, I will res reset this puzzle to an unsolved state. Why do you need to do all that? To recreate the history that you remember. Your consciousness is about to leave your body and return to the future. 
and your body will be emptied and your other consciousness will jump back in. If your bodies aren't back in the third AB room, by then it would be bad. So you're saying some version of us is going to wake up in that room and repeat the same history again? Well, I guess this could actually be our second or third time? You are exactly correct. Lastly, I'm going to leave this with you. She paused and pulled something out of her pocket. It was a small key attached to a string. I'll tie it to your ankle so you won't lose it, alright Sigma? What's it say on there? Tu fui ego eris. It's Latin. It means what you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Oh, miss yes. What am I supposed to do with it? It will help you meet someone who's very important. What? Go. Return to the future. You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. But hurry. Wait. I still... To be continued. New destination for the head of the flowchart.